Welcome to Kitchen Princess Bamboo, Japanese Everyday Food. Today, I will show you how to make chestnut shibukawani. This is a very time consuming job, but totally worth it. Let's enjoy the Japanese chestnut project with me. So, let's get started. First, let's prepare the chestnut. Bring 2 liters of water to a boil in a large pot. Add 1 teaspoon of baking soda and add washed chestnut. Turn the heat off and cover with lid. Leave it until lukewarm for about 3 to 4 hours. Baking soda works to soften the outer shell. Take off the hard outer shell. This is the only hard part of the project. Take your paring knife, insert the tip of the knife to make a slit on the flat side, and remove the shell little by little. When you remove the flat side, You can use your finger to remove the outer shell. Be sure not to cut your fingers. And take care not to peel off the inner skin. The inner skin is called Shibukawa, which is the name of this recipe and the most important part. It will take about an hour, so grab a coffee and watch your favorite drama while working on it. Now, pre boil the chestnut. Bring 2 liters of water to a boil again and put shelled chestnut and 1 teaspoon of baking soda. Simmer for 5 minutes and let the scum out. When the boiling water b e c o m e purple, drain and rinse under the running water. Next, clean the surface of the chestnut using a bamboo skewer to remove the hard slab like this. Slide the skewer on the surface to remove the hairy skin. Again, do not damage the inner skin, so take care gently. Drain and rinse again and clean the chestnut. Put them into the boiling water again and add one teaspoon of baking soda. Simmer for five minutes and change the water. This time, do not drain. Place the pot under the tap. And pour water slowly into the pot. Leave it for about 7 to 8 minutes to change the water completely. The chestnut may be so soft that breaks easily. In this way, your chestnut keeps its shape and there are no c h a n c e to be broken. Repeat the process again, but with no baking soda this time. Baking soda works to soften the inner skin and remove the bitterness. But it tastes bitter itself, so the last pre boiling is to remove the bitterness from the baking soda. Let's cook the chestnut until soft and cover with fresh water. Cover with lid and simmer for about one hour or until soft. If you are not sure cooked or not, use a skewer. The chestnut must be softened before adding the sugar, as I said earlier. Add one third of sugar and cook to dissolve about five minutes. Leave it to the next day. The second day, bring it to boil again and add one third of the sugar. The third day, add one third of the sugar. The fourth day, separate the chestnut and syrup. Bring syrup to a boil and cook for 10 minutes to reduce the amount of water and increase the sugar content. Put the chestnut back to the syrup and leave for another day. The fifth and the last day, separate the chestnut and the syrup like the day before. Bring the syrup to a boil and cook for 10 minutes. And put the chestnut back and leave until the next day. We are almost there. The next day, transfer the chestnut to the sterilized jar and keep in the fridge. I like to add rum for the last touch, and the alcohol works to keep longer. If you don't like it, just leave it out. We complete the project. Let me taste. I don't know how to describe the taste in English. It tastes really good. The unique flavor from the inner skin is so good. After the long project, I feel so satisfied and proud myself. I hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching the video. 
I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more delicious Japanese recipes. If you have any questions and future video requests, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again and see you next time!